Good morning, good, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you at. <laughs> hope all is well with everyone. I hope everybody having a great day. All right, all right, all right. We got 20 people on the call right now. Um, I'm opening it up for before my brother get on. Um, we've been busy, busy, busy. I know he's been hiding heavy up in that. Uh, we call it a lab, right? Got a lot going on, a lot going on. Uh, very excited for everyone that got on the call on time. Thank you for getting on the call. Uh, we're looking forward to serving you and helping you, right? We want to assist you with whatever your, your needs, desires are, right? So um, this is our meetup. The whole purpose of this meetup is for people with common like goals to join and take action together and have a support group where you work together with other people that's like-minded. So we appreciate the fact that um, so many of you are starting to join and, and catch on to this, this trend we have. Um, we started off, myself and Joe, just, hey, doing our own individual things and then we partnered up and then we, we loved each other company. So we said, hey man, let's take it to other folks and help other people and, and, and grow our family. So that's what this mastermind is about. That's what this group is about, is growing, mm -hmm. learning, earning, and returning. So thank y'all for being a part of it. Uh, let's get it. What you got, Joe? Coach, man, hey, welcome, welcome, brother, man. It's always good to see you, man. Uh, I see you, what, maybe two or three times a week, and it still seems like it's not enough, man. Hey, hey, I'm not going to stop until, hey, I get to the top and be your neighbor. Hey, and I know what it feel like to be your neighbor. You know, hey, I, I come to you for handouts. So, I, hey, I know what kind of community you live in. You know what I'm saying? Uh-oh. -uh. Oh, look, look, I'm just speaking the truth, brother. I'm just speaking the truth. Somebody man. truth. Uh, oh, no, 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 man. That's all coming up to re remodel that bathroom, man. I ain't forgot. It's, hey. it's coming soon, man. It's coming we, soon. We're looking forward to it. No, absolutely, man. Well, well, once again, man, thanks for joining us, man. I'm super excited for, you know, everything that's taking place. Yes, man, I'm down here. I am out of my mind right now. Out of my mind right now. Uh, right now, I'm working on the uh, rental arbitrage. So, um, you, you know, if you guys aren't familiar with rental arbitrage, it's basically where you're renting out your property on short-term leases versus long-term. So an example of that could actually be Airbnb or uh, VRBO or, you know, peer space, things like that. But recently, we discovered a super, super hot lead uh, when it comes to rental arbitrage, man. And, and like, Bro, we, 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 we hit the jackpot today, man. We hit the jackpot. So today we actually um, uh, was able to have a conversation with the veteran affairs. Um, and so what they're going to do is it's a ton of veterans looking for places to go. So what the veteran affairs do is like, man, they're actually paying for, uh, for their living spaces. They call them, I think, units, right, coach? Um, so, so, so they're paying for their living quarters now. And so, uh, so what I'm doing now is I took, you know, the properties that we have, we furnished them and we put two beds per room. So now the VA, they're saying, hey, look, we, we still have a ton of veterans that are in need. Uh, I like what you guys got going on. Let us go ahead and start sending, uh, you know, people your way. So, bro, $600 a bed. Okay. $600 a bed. That's $1,200 a room. All right, we got four bedroom house, and in the back we have mm -hmm. a uh, a two bedroom guest house. So off of that property alone, man, hey, look, we'll, we'll bring in, we'll net uh, about five thousand dollars a month off of that property just from getting out doing the groundwork, man. So I'm like super excited for that, and and I'll say this, hey, I couldn't have done it uh, alone, so I had to partner with someone to help, you know, really mm -hmm. tote the load, you know. Uh, I was great at the acquisitions of finding the properties and developing the marketing strategies, but, you know, Hey, without her, you, you know, making those calls and, and getting those contacts, you know, I wouldn't have been able, I wouldn't be in the position that I'm, I'm in right now. So, uh, you know, a uh, huge shout out to, uh, to, to her, to Jane. I don't think she's on the call, but huge shout out to her for uh, her consistent support and, and, and hard efforts that, that she's putting in daily, man. I'm truly grateful. Um, so we have that going. So, so, you know, now we're like, Hey, look guys, if you want to do rental properties now, 
hey, you know, I'm trying to get away from the, the, the you know, the eight to five grind in rental properties. Because typically you're making about, uh, Coach, which you know this here, between two and three hundred dollars a door. Yeah. Two and three hundred dollars a door. If you know what you're doing. Exactly. Exactly. And that's net profit. Right. So for those of us who come in and say, oh, hey, I want to own these rental properties. I want to build a rental portfolio. Don't quit your nine to five if you have one thinking that, you know, rental property is going to free you of that rental. You need rental properties to free you of that. You know, um, but you can get lucky and get multiple doors under one roof, which, you know, would be a multifamily complex. And, you know, and that could solve that issue. But if not, man, look, it's it, it's it, it's a challenge. It, you know, it's a challenge. So so what we want to do is start, uh, you know, showing you guys ways to where you can, quote unquote, 10x your income, 10x your revenue, uh, basically by switching up a couple small strategies and implementing those that can skyrocket you you know coach i mean like seriously skyrocket that one property there 21 rental properties over here that one property there is gonna for uh, you know outseed all those one property Absolutely. so so i'm fired up about that man um you know i'm super fired up about we, we have the creative uh financing um you know content that we've created um i mean i can't wait to drop that uh you know still got a couple fine tunes uh you know things to find tune on there but man the creative financing piece it, it's it's a mastermind but here's what exceeds all of those things all of those things i know our, our group is real estate investing for newbies so some folks get on the call they have some experience some folks have no experience whatsoever right so they're here looking for you know hey how to get started and most people they they want to start out in wholesaling that's typically what they want to do so, Coach, so what we develop, you know, you and I and, you know, and other uh, groups that we're working with, we develop a call center to where, uh, you know, we can help those who want to do wholesaling. We can help them get experience, exposure, uh, you, you know, build confidence, get, you know, more knowledgeable, you know, on the entire process, you know, and we're actually developed this platform to help them, you know, to do that. And so, because all other educational sources out there, coach, it's, all right, watch these videos, right? Go yep. implement. Yep. You know, it's, it's literally like, what, 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 what was the kingdom 10 grand? Yep. Right now, I'm not saying that they don't have good content, but it's like, literally like, all right, hey, watch these videos, call us if you need this. And there you go. No, 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 no. That's not how we operate. Nope, nope, nope. We want, we want to hold your hand walk you through your first uh, couple um, calls and then boom, let you go and grow on your own. But here's the thing, you're on our platform. So you're not calling, you, you typically you're not calling folks that haven't been vetted. These are people that have already, you know, said that, hey, they want to sell. Now, when you call them, they could have changed their mind. But look, we're doing, we're pulling all the leads. We have the CRM system in place, you know, so all you really have to do is have access to one of these. Oh, you really can't see it access to one of those hey you pick up the phone and you make some calls that's it that is it uh today we had uh one of our mentees she made calls today and she got she was like so fired up so fired up wait first let me tell you what happened first first she said coach i don't think wholesaling is for me now now we do more than wholesaling we're just speaking about this platform i don't think wholesaling is for me coach and then next thing i know i got like 20 pictures, like text messages, bing, 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 bing. Like, what is all this? I look down, coach, can you help me get off the phone? This guy won't let me go. <laughs> so, so she actually got, got a hold of a, a nice seller yeah. who wanted to sell, right? Who's looking yeah. for help, looking for help with this problem. And so it was super cool to see how fast that transformed, right? Super cool. Yeah. And uh, like, I'm super excited for everything that she has going on, man. So uh, here, I'll, I'll show you guys here briefly, you know, what this platform looks like, uh, you know, and, and if you guys have any questions about this, you, you guys feel free, feel free. And here's one of the things I want to share too, which is super, super amazing, super amazing. We literally got leads in tonight. Yeah. So leads come in and trickle into our system all day long, all day long. I'm sitting here, I'm working. I got four computer screens in here, coach. 
I'm working on a loan modification for uh, a four bedroom house, super nice house. So working uh-huh. on that, I see leads coming in. I say, you know what? Hey, let me let me go back and forth. I spent about 20 minutes calling those leads. 20 minutes, boom. Guess what happened? Jackpot, got a contract tonight. 20 minutes, got a contract tonight. I couldn't have done it without the systems in place, right? Couldn't have done it. And here's the thing. I called a guy twice. So I learned, if any of you guys are doing calls out there, call the people twice, two times in a row. Why two times in a row? Because if you call the first time, they don't answer. The second time, you know what they're saying? Man, who is this? This must be important. Your dog on right is important. You told one of my partners that you wanted to sell, and I'm interested in buying. You know, hey, by you answering that, not answering that phone could potentially cost me and my family thousands of dollars. By you answering the phone could potentially help me take care of my family by providing us with thousands of dollars. So, hey, everyone, two two calls back to back. I don't care anymore. That two calls back to back. And if they ask, like, man, why you keep calling me? Why well, hey, I'm interested? You you told my my friend that you was you know want to sell your property. I'm the buyer, and you know we want to do business with you. Just that simple. They curse you out, remove them from the list. That's okay. Keep smiling and dialing, smiling and dialing. <laughs> I like it. Smiling and dialing. Hey, hey seriously, man. You you have hey. to have uh you, you know a great attitude of uh you know to do this, right? Here's one here's one of the things I learned, coach. Is like if you're gonna get in real estate, if you're gonna focus on wholesale, that's if that's what your focus is on, you have to master the phone. You have to master the phone. There's more phones on earth than it is people. <laughs> right how many phones do you have coach oh man stop how many phones you got about eight I'm, phones man for real you got like, eight seriously. phones yeah seriously that, that that all works yeah i got my my magic jack i got my I got like five numbers with uh google i got different accounts so i get inbound outbound you know i got all these crazy systems when i first started right right they told us to do all that stuff right right so i kept it in place See, see, look at that. See, you got multiple phone numbers, but actual phone devices. One, two, three. See, look at that. See, look at that. You got yeah. three phones and you one person. See what I mean? So in your house, it's four people, but like 10 phones. So it's more phones than people you know, on earth right now. So if you guys can get comfortable, master the phones, like you're going to do very well, very, very well. And, and here's the thing. You don't want to beat yourself up. You don't want to beat anybody else up. You just want to be comfortable and confident in the messaging that you're putting out there, right? In the messaging you're putting out there. So I'll even role play, you know, what it looks like. Here, let, let me move this uh, lead here off of my uh, screen. I'm sitting here like, all right, look, I need to do this contract. I don't even know why I'm doing the contract because I'm just going to send it to somebody else and, and ask them to do it. No, and I don't want to like I don't want to deal with it. Hey, I'll make the phone calls, but I don't want to deal with it, right? So uh so yeah, let, let me move that here. Cool, cool. Share screen. Hey, while you doing it, I uh, put a link in there for the newbies that's on the call. Then uh, I know I sent a lot of text messages out tonight. Um mm-hmm. got more people on the call than normal. Um, so if y'all don't mind clicking, go into the chat box, click on that survey. That's a survey for newbies. Um, uh, so we can kind of tailor. Edu- um, our education to you. So kind of just get a round about what, where you at and what you need to know. Cool, cool. Hey coach, will you, will you go ahead and do me a favor and disable? Oh, shoot. Or disable enable, me. enable um, me. Oh man, you, you enable to do everything. Hey man, hey, hey I you. sure do appreciate it, brother. <laughs> there you I go, do, bro. I do. Okay, cool, cool. So yeah, let, let me show you guys what we have going on on the platform. I'll, you know, I'll make it brief and, uh, and you guys just ask, you know, whatever question you, that, that you have. So, yep, there I go. Going over to DocuSign, get ready to send out that contract. Like I said, I don't know why I even did a contract because Lord knows I don't want to do them. Um, but that's just how, you know, we spread the wealth, right? It's like, I have this lead. Hey, I made the phone call. It's in my database. It's mine. But guess what? I'm the coach. So, hey, everyone else's success is my success. So, you know what I'm doing? Coach, you know what I'm doing? You're punning. You're kicking it over there. You're passing it. There you go. Hey, look, guys, look. 
Uh, sellers already agree. I need you, you guys to step in, hey, and, and take this baby all the way to the end. Who gets the commission? They get a commission off of that. Why? Because they look, they saw it to the end. So for us, it's not just about us coming in and making all, all of the cash. No, we want you guys, like I said, to be knowledgeable, to get comfortable, to be confident whenever you're going out there, uh, you know, really investing in real estate, no matter what it is. So coach here, I, I know it, it's probably a little mumbo jumbo to you right now, but you know, this is a system that we're using. I mean, we got a great team, man, that, that we're working with too. So uh, Podio is our uh, CRM system that we're working with. So, you know, we have different, you know, people that's on our platform that we're working with. You see all these here, Joe Barnett, that's me. You know, these are people that, you know, uh, mentees that are actually communicating with me, right? So, so I do all of this, not so I can micromanage. No, so I can actually help you close out these deals. So I can help you close these deals. So when you get, you're new, you don't know what the heck's going on. All you know is like, hey, I just talked to somebody. They're really, really want to sell. It's hot. Let's go. Can you help? Yes, I can help. Now, tag me in so we can start communicating and I can start walking you guys through it. So it like really, really boosts up your self-esteem. And before you know it, you're taking off. So here's the site here. Simply log in. So what you have here, hey, every single day we have leads coming in uh and these are leads that you know uh you, you know the call center that we're working with they're actually going out pulling these leads high equity leads absentee owner leads uh vacant property leads uh you know we're, we're getting ready to add pre-foreclosure but you guys won't be doing pre-foreclosures because pre-foreclosures is a totally different animal you really really have to be comfortable with uh the, your messaging on that part so it takes time to get there but we are willing to, you know, uh, educate coach and get you guys, uh, you know, fired up to where you can do those things. Oh, excuse me. So, so yeah, so you got these leads that come in, not contacted, contact in progress, appointment booked. So we got some uh, appointments that we booked already, um, you know, to go out and take some photos of the property. We got some follow-up calls, people that have answered, but we haven't been able to get them on the hook yet. So I'm like, this, this stuff is like legit. So we get, we have made offers, you know, people we submitted offers to, they just haven't signed the purchase agreements. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. People are going to change their mind. You know, um, we have the hot leads, boom, you know, all of that. And then here we have the under contract, right? So here's one of the things that I'll share with you guys here. So that's under contract list. Go over here, hot leads. Let's see here. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Let's see here. Uh, uh, let's see here. I'm just going to breeze through this here really quick, coach. Uh, all right, cool. All right, so we got a lead right here. Go over here to my thousands of emails. Boom. All right, let's go right here. View document. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't think you got uh Uh-oh. Let me see if it's going to hide my password. I don't need you guys, like, logging in, doing my DocuSign. Boo. Hey, but I tell you what, if they're going to fill out the contract, please log in and do them. All right? <laughs> if you're going to do the contract, please log I promise you log in. Uh-oh, Coach, what we got right here? Boom. We got a purchase contract right here, $90,000 um, in Chicago. Closing date. Boom. Seller. Buyer. Done. One page. Coach, you see that? One page. Love it, brother. That's one, it. One page. It don't take much. You Damn. got your, you got your buyers. You got your dates. You got the address, the legal description, purchase price, a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo that really doesn't make any sense for us, you know. Uh, but it's super simple, super super simple, you know, to where a caveman could do it. That simple, coach. So, so we go over there and we go from made offer no. Now we do under contract, done, just that easy. So th that's how that, that CRM is working right there. So it is working, 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 man. So when I tell you that like people are fired up, people are like getting energized. Like, I mean, it is like crazy because this is what's happening, coach. Uh -huh. If you don't know the basic principles when it comes to renovations, 
how can you truly make an offer on a property? You know, how can you truly make an offer? They so it, it's, you're, you're shooting in the dark, shooting in the dark. So what happens is, is that you, owe, you, you really over leverage yourself, you know, and then boom, you can ruin your credibility, you know, and so for us, we want you guys to be comfortable and confident. All right, right now, Terry, we, we know that you're working with us. You're part of the mastermind group. Yes, I'm putting you on the spot right now, Terry. Right now, on the spot. We're going to see if you've been doing your homework, Terry. All right, Terry, when you're looking at a kitchen, you got a half and you have a whole, right? All right, so Terry, this is what I, I'm mute, Terry. Nah, I'm putting you on the spot, man. Hey, I want to see, I want to see, man, hey, how well this information has been retained. Oh, okay, okay. Are you still on mute? I'm unmuted. All right, there we go. All right, Terry, look, you have a half and you have a whole. That's it for kitchen. There's no in between, right? Right. No in between. If you got a half a kitchen, you know, I'll give a little, little bit of help here because just in case, you know, it's all still fresh for you. If you have a half a kitchen, what does that mean? Um, when it comes to your repairs, well, what are you replacing in there? Uh, your appliances, maybe the floor. Um, or what's the thing that goes over the stove? That thing, I I guess vent that's considered the appliances. Vent hood. Yeah, the vent hood. Uh, I guess that's what's about it. The, 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 the sink, the, uh, uh, the stuff, the, the backsplash. Yep, you're, you're placing that. But what's the most expensive part of a kitchen? Uh, the appliances, the, the cabinets are the most expensive oh, part the of cabinets. The, the cabinets. Okay. Oh, yes, sir. So if you're going to be replacing the cabinets, that means you're doing what to the kitchen? Brand new one, brand new kitchen. That's right. So if the cabinets have to go, it's a whole brand new kitchen. If, Full if kitchen. it, yes, sir. If the cabinets are staying, that means it's a half a kitchen. You're just updating your countertops, your backsplash, your, your appliances. So just one, just one. Terry, what's the cost to do a half a kitchen? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got you, Terry. I got you, Terry. 8,000. Uh oh. Uh -oh 8,000 uh -oh. for the full kitchen, 4,000 for the half kitchen. Too easy. Too easy. Just that quick. Just that quick. Hey, we knew Latia had you because, hey, she, hey, hey, she going off on folks' kitchens. You know, <laughs> y'all know I got the kitchen. <laughs> hey, the kitchen can be just remodeled. Hey, she mad. She like, she like that kitchen stressing me out, man. Go to the next page, please, please, please. But you know, but now you know. So if right. you see, if you're seeing photos of a property and boom, you go by, you like, okay, look, them cabinets falling off the hinges. Eight thousand dollars for that whole kitchen. Now you know move on to the next, your bathroom, your floors, your electrical. You guys know exactly what you're looking at at each property, right? So you may not be moving at speed yet, may not be moving at speed yet, but you know exactly what to look for when you go to a house. So now you're not just walking in, scratching your head, like, where do I start? You know exactly where to start, you know? So that's what we're teaching. And here's the thing that I've learned. Here's the thing that I've learned as, as coach. Like when, when you're a coach, you have to see things that, that the people that's following you, when you're a leader, the, the things that when people are following you, what they need before they even know that they need it, right? Before they even know that they need it. You have to, you have to know that. So, so again, you guys are new. I've broken down the formula to where basically you, you can do this. Once you know the square footage, you know the age of the property, you can automatically come up with a re rehab budget. Now, that rehab budget, remember, square footage and age of the property. That rehab budget is going to get you in the ballpark. May not be 100% accurate, but it's going to get you in the ballpark. So if I tell you, hey, Terry, any property that's 20 years and younger, this is what your renovation is going to be 20 years from now. So we're in 2022. Was that down to 2012? No, uh, 2002. So 2002, yeah, my math ain't that good. I'm okay with that. So, uh, you know, 2002, I can tell you, boom, 
here, here's what your renovation budget is for, for those properties, just like that. And then from the next 20 years, boom, here's your renovation prop. Uh, this is what your numbers are. Terry, you think that information is going to help you whenever you go out to, you yes. know, doing your wholesaler duties? Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you guys are going to, those formulas are going to be shared with you along with you're still going to continue to get that education on exactly understanding what cost is. Because without having that basic principle, without having that basic principle, it's just going to be tough. Can't, not saying it's not impossible. It's just going to be tough. With you guys starting out, we want to make sure that you guys, like I said, are equipped to go out there you know, win the battles that you fight. Because you're going to have to fight them with the sellers. You're going to have to fight them with the buyers. And we want to make sure that you guys win. So, Coach, man, I'm fired up about what we have going on with the call center. I'm fired up with what we have going on on the educational platform. Um, you know, hey, look, we're, we're getting ready to do our first fix and flip. Oh, actually, no, no, no. We've already uh, started our fix and flip with uh, Willie, our uh, student, you know, you know uh, so he's already doing his uh, first flip, uh, fix and flip right now. And here's the thing, Willie had no experience, right? But he had resources, which was excellent because we didn't have to raise any capital, but he had resources, but no experience. Didn't know where to start. He became a mentee. Guess what, man? This guy's like three fourths all the way through his pro uh, project. We're super excited and proud of him. Uh, we partnered and paired with him. He's doing excellent. And so now we're getting ready to start another flip. Uh, let's see here. I think I got this here. So I like every, everyone like, likes to ask, like, uh, you know, are you real? Like, what, what are you doing? You know, they always ask me. And uh, <laughs> I think the only, only one person has ever asked me, like, can you show me a check? Like, can you, like, show me, like, what you actually made? And, uh, and <laughs> I, I've, ne I've never had to like uh, talk to her about money again. So, so uh, I, I've been blessed. You showed for him? Yeah, I did. I, I did. It was a so check. What? I just, I just cashed it. I know, but why you, oh, okay. I mean, cause it didn't bother me. You know, I mean, my right. thing about it is, hey, you don't believe me, hell, hey, trust, go trust somebody else, buy, buy from uh -huh. me. No, absolutely. Uh, let's see here. Boom. All right. Look at this here, Coach. So this is just out here. Boom. They're requesting an invoice for insurance policy. Uh, we should have a clear to close once that is sent, though. Done. See that? Done. Clear to close, Coach. So what you want? And, and here's the thing about that. I don't have any cash invested in this deal. Nothing but time. So we're, we're showing people how to do those types of uh, techniques, you know, um, to where you guys can go out, implement these strategies for yourselves, um, you know, and, and really build a life that you want to live. And it's all whatever you guys set for for yourself. Why do we do hey, the thing? Joe. Go ahead, coach. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, you, you know, for, for me, it's like, hey, why do I do the things I do? Honestly, um, getting to that point in my life to where, hey, I'm, I'm on my down phase right now, right? So I'm giving all that I have for these next five years, all that I have these next five years. And so that also means um, building my business to where, hey, I can, you know, come off the pedal in five years. And that also means pouring into others to where, hey, look, they can, you know, get on their pedals within the next five years. So guys, it's, it's really a lot of real estate out there it's uh, not all about me. It's all about, you know, what's important to the people that's around me uh, that, that are willing to work with me, believe in me, and we can achieve some great things together, Coach. So, you know, uh, I'm just fired up with what we have going on, man. And, and I'm going to sit back, send over this contract to somebody else and, and hope and pray that they get it submitted so my life can be easier. And, and, they, and, and they pockets can be a little bit fatter. See that? What you over there reading, man? Man, look here. I'm so disappointed with these folks. I ain't gonna lie. You happy? I'm happy you happy because um we got 36 people on this call and five people did the survey. I'm getting I'm getting all these clicks every time y'all do the survey. I'm knowing it. And <laughs> all I actually I do is do a survey to figure out what you want to learn, and you can't do that. Can't you take action, man. You dealing with these folks? Some of these folks ain't even gonna take action. Well, hey, look, look, hey, uh, link. But 
but you know what, man, you know, life, that, that's life, you know, um, some of us take action, some of us don't, we're all needed, you know, um, you know, we're all wanted. So, you know, for those, uh, if you guys are serious, man, you know, coach is there, you know, he, he's asking for you guys to, you know, uh, step out and, you know, do the link. So that way, you know, we can continue to communicate with you guys and as well as you guys can communicate with us because we have so, so many wonderful things going on. Um, so, so many wonderful things. So, yeah. Uh, so, so do, do, yeah, coach, it's all you from here, coach. Oh, man, look here. I, I don't want to go on my rant because, like I said, uh, look, the Joe y'all see is not the Joe y'all used to see. Joe been dealing with me, and I changed Joe a lot to be this giving person. Joe was the person said, hey, man, I'm making my money. I'm worried about me. I'm going to keep moving. Priscilla, am I lying? Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Come on, nope. Man. Not at all. Wait, 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 but Joe, you have come a long way with uh, yeah, look, just being so much more available to some of the new new folks. Well, now, you... that, now that is, I will agree with that. I, hey, hey, coach, put me out there making it seem like look, hey, like I'm the bad guy. Like no, I'm, no, no, you just, just being honest, and look, you got to divide your time. That's how I took it. I'm in my feelings right now. Coach, your delivery wasn't good enough, man. This is how I, I this is how I'm taking it, man. Well, hey, guess what? The truth hurts. <laughs> <laughs> so why am I sharing it with y'all? I, I know Joe don't mind me telling y'all that because me and Joe sat down and talked several times. Joe changed his whole strategy from buying fix and flips to lease options because I had the conversation about this the way to do that, bro, so you can make the money over and over and over again. So this was like in 2017 or so. So for everybody on the call, it's one way to do a transaction and make money. You'll surprise yourself and make a transaction and make money right off the bat. But it's hard to keep making money over and over again and figure out a way to help others and you still make money. So somebody on uh, thing hot, somebody mic hot, meet your mic, thank you. I got you. Uh, so it's very important to have a well-rounded circle. You cannot have a one-ended circle where you're just worried about money only. You gotta have somebody else care about the business. Right now, I'm asking y'all to do that stuff because while y'all, while Joe working with the transaction with you all, I'm working on funnel systems to keep bringing more people into the group to keep growing the group. We plan on being a lifelong group. We want a family that grows. And this is the beginning. Those people that are joining right now at this cheap end, you getting all the love because guess what? Once we get to the big end and we get to 60 and 100 and 1,000 people, we're not gonna be this available because we're working on something huge. We're working on something bigger. This is the lowest level. And it's so important that you sign up. And it's kind of sad, guys. It's really sad because I really want people to do better. That's the thing about it. I personally want people to do better. And we started this platform based off of that. So that's what I want y'all to do. Just take action. If somebody asks you to do something that, that that's asked you to do something that's gonna hurt you, take action. Because at the end of the day, that action may be the action that helped you out and save you. So we're gonna move forward with everything. I hope everybody on this call decides to get on our schedule. Um, I'm looking at these leads, man. These leads are just going up, man. People are booking, 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 booking. So we're gonna be busy. <laughs> I, I went in and jumped in a fight. Joe was working his butt out so mad, I mean, so hard with everybody. I kept telling him, train somebody to train other people. Train somebody to train other people. And when that person trains so many people, then we get them training five, let somebody else train. Grow the process, not do it yourself, right? So that's the part that I play. I play the part of the vision. I play the part of the strategic part, right? I'm trying to make sure we all decent in order. I ain't worried about the money. The money gonna come because my blessings are there, right? So let's keep moving, guys. Let's keep growing this organization. Let's keep taking action. And let's keep seeing a turn on our investment. My most important goal for every one of you, if you pay money, get your money back ASAP by taking action. That's all I ask. After you take action a couple of times and you make some money, then I'll talk to you. For real, for real, because I'm going to teach you how to make that money, make more money. Money is a tool. That's it. You got to put it to work for you. I'm going to teach you that strategy, right? Just like I told Joe to go ahead and say, hey, let's teach people and stop buying freaking houses. <laughs> right? He's starting to buy one house and say he's going to get like 20 people in that one house. Hey, that's fine. Do that. I, I rather help people. 
I rather a statue be put up. So come on, join join us so that you can get on there. Joe, what you doing, boy? You still putting that thing out there? I just put that on uh, calendar out of invite. It's all on this thing. Man, I thought that's what you asked, what you just asked to do. Not your coach invite. I'm trying to get them all in one area so that we can, yeah. you can so, yeah, yeah, yeah. so, I'm thinking that's that's what you asked to do. <laughs> I, and I, I I tried to go in there and delete it. So yeah, guys, do coaches um uh link. Then that's going to tie into the entire system there. Yeah. I'm, I'm copying and bringing it on down, y'all. I'm bringing it on down. But, hey, look, what questions y'all have? Go ahead and ask your questions. It's uh, 936. Uh, I was prepared if Joe um, didn't go too long. But I told him if you go close to 930, I ain't, I ain't teaching. <laughs> so what questions y'all have? Anybody got a deal on the table right now you need to help with? You need somebody to kind of give you some questions? This is the time to ask those questions. It's free. I agree. I agree. I agree. Yeah, I mean, if you guys are working on something on your own. Hey, I, got a, I got a question. Go ahead. Hey, how you doing? This is Dan, man. Uh, so I'm, uh, I'm I'm taking down a, a four unit with a, with a, uh, with, as a partnership. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm bringing money to the deal. <clears throat> and you know, <clears throat> been trying to just make sure that my 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 T's are crossed and my eyes are dotted with with the paperwork. You know, whether it's title or should I start an LLC with this guy to you know put in place an operating agreement to demonstrate the money that I'm bringing to the table and how we're gonna do the the fifty fifty split. I'm just wondering if you guys have any experience with that, or if you, if you wanna if you wanna comment on how you've done any JV deals uh, in the past. Now, are the units uh, occupied? Uh, three of the units are occupied, and and the the guy that I'm partnered with, he's actually going to occupy one of the units. So, you know, <clears throat> that's really going to be you know most of his profit, you know, and and uh, you know, so we're going to structure the the talks that we're talking about structuring it is you know any profits that come off in the first like eighteen months. Will will come directly back to me, you know, since I'm just bringing I'm bringing money to the deal, and then after that we'll do like a fifty fifty split. But he's he's going to occupy one of the units. Is he going to be the um, property manager as well? Since he occupying that? Yeah, he will be the property manager. But he this this is his first time. I'm kind of helping him through things, so I'm I'm bringing him into my systems and you know how, how I do the leases, what portals I use, you know how to do the books. So I'm, you know, I'm training him a little bit, you know, he's a friend, we go way back, but, but, you know, there's, there's, this is a great business opportunity for both he and I, and just, just, you know, one of you guys could comment on, on how you, uh, I don't know whether you did contracts, operating agreements, started LLC, I, I don't know, any, 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 uh, any insight there? So I would say that um, right now, I, I would always advise somebody, and you already know this, how many deals you've done already? How many deals you completed? Uh, I've done uh, five single families at this point, so this will okay. be my first, like you know, multi-family, small multi-family. So you know, you can give you you got a um, accountant, right? Yeah, I do have an accountant. Okay, go through them, man. I I, I don't want to give you that kind of information. I could say my opinion, but my opinion don't mean anything, man. Get we get that accounting, find out what's the tax rules for you. What state you what state you're uh, doing this in? Uh this is gonna be in Louisiana. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh yeah. okay, what part? Uh Baton Rouge. Oh, okay. Nah, I don't I got nobody up there. I got accountant up there. But uh yeah, I would say get with them, run it by them, and get um get their blessings off on what should do. Because you're bringing the money. It seems like the other person is coming in bringing the labor, right? They're gonna stay in the place and then half the money that's supposed to be split, you're gonna get the bigger portion because there's their rent, correct? Hello? Right, right. Yeah, so so that's a exactly. different. Yeah, that's a little yeah, different. Yeah, I'm still here. Sorry, I'm, I'm moving through these deals. No problem. Okay, well, your, okay. Yeah, your situation is a little unique. It's not really. It's not really fifty fifty. Am I? Am I cutting up? 
Oh, yeah, that's him. Okay. <laughs> so, hey, get on our coaching schedule, man, and let us talk to you one on one. But right now, that's not a really a 50 50 split because that person ain't bringing nothing besides some labor, and then you're charging them rent. So, it's not 50 50. Oh, what's up? How much okay. is that labor? How much is the labor? It's like be the, be the property manager. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the hey. labor going to be. <laughs> well, if it's hey. 10%. So, hey, it's, hey. so if you typically oh, 10%, hey. so so $300 uh, a month is the, the four units going to bring in. It will bring bring in $3,000 a month if he wasn't occupying one of the units. Mm -hmm. So, but if, um, is the property's turnkey, like in tip-top shape? Uh, it's it's eighty percent there, you know. Uh, uh, it's, it's not up to my normal standards, so I, you know, I'm you know, I'm putting in some work on the floors and able to do it, you know. And and from there, you know, we'll we'll work out what the split is after I put in, you know, even more money. But 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 that's kind of how. It, but he he is putting up half the down payment though. Okay. So so I'm I'm not I'm not putting up the whole down payment. So we you know so we we're, we're, we're able to kind of work that a little bit too. Hey, how okay. how much is your down payment? Uh, so so he's doing the FHA three point five percent. Okay, I got it. And so that that's how you guys are uh you know running running that play there. Okay. All right. Yeah. I, I see. I see. I see. Yeah. So I'm gonna bring eighty five hundred to the deal. And um, and and whatever repairs are necessary, and um, and you know, coming out of that with a with a three hundred thousand dollar asset that you know that's that's fully rented and and bringing in, you know, twenty two fifty a month after uh you know b before he moves moves out because you know of course he'll probably stay there for a year or so, and then we'll we'll turn it into a true investment property. Right, right, right. First of all, man, thank you so much for bringing it to the table, and thank you so much for investing in and um, excellent out there and helping that young man out because that's what you're doing. Right? Is you're mentoring somebody, you're training somebody, and you're growing somebody, and you're doing it together. So kudos to you for that, Coach. You know, that, that, that's a fair deal, there, Coach. He, he, the guy's using, you know, his credit, yeah, his uh, mm -hmm. uh, FHA. And, you know, yeah, they, I, th I think, it, you know, it's, it's a fair deal, you know, starting out, you know, always some tweaks can be made, but overall, I think it's a fair deal, coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he told us about the FHA and on the, right. and using that guy credit, yeah, that's, that's a whole other story. It, it changes. And when he said bringing some money to the table, that's a whole other story. So, like I said, what you got about the text that you don't want to talk to the text, man? You going to give him the text files? <laughs> hey, didn't he say he got a contract, though, LT? Huh? He do have a contract, though, right? He do have a contract, right? What you mean? Yeah, when, no, you partner, no. when you partner with somebody, you always have to have a contract still. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, Vincent. Boy, I had to catch your voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that, and yeah. that was where, where I was wondering, you know, should it be just a, a standard contract or, or should we go into an LLC situation with an operating agreement? You know, so, is, is that... No, LLC, then, you, yeah, you had to do that. Y'all go always do a lot of deals together, but I was still... A, Still do a separate agreement. Every deal you can do a separate agreement. How you go, especially when it comes down to pay. You need you need the agreement how everything gonna get paid out. You know your your sales contract is that's that's when you close. That's one thing, but still how the highs gonna be split up. It need to be in writing because things get messy sometimes. <laughs> sometimes <laughs> that would be an operating <laughs> agreement if he does an LLC though. Hey, Darren, are you are you guys truly wanting to be partners in this or do you want to just primarily fund um, your portion of the deal and train him how to run his own business? I think that's the question on the table there is what do you all really yeah, you know, do you want a long term partnership with each other or do you want to right. just help um, financially on this one deal and train him? And I would pay him separately. If he's going to do the property management, I would make that a separate deal. That way, if you ever get to the point where neither one of you want to manage the property, you already have that budget set aside to have someone else do it. So there should be a separate agreement in place for the property management. But I think to determine whether you want to do an LLC and include your terms in an operating agreement, 
Or like Vincent said, you could do a partnership agreement if you're not gonna be um, forming an LLC together. Yeah, yeah, I, you know, I, I think it will be a long-term play. Uh, you know, uh, if, if you guys kind of know my story, I hadn't been on in a while, but I'm a, I'm a Californian uh, and I, re you know, invest back in Louisiana, you know, just it's, you know, it's just a little easier to stretch the money out there. Right. And so, uh, and so I, I'm, I'm looking, I've been looking for somebody like him to, to, you know, scale a little bit more yeah. in Louisiana. Cause you know, I'm doing these, these single deals and this set of the third. And so this, this is an opportunity for me to have somebody with some skin in the game and, right. and you know, and, and grow with a little bit. So, so I am looking for a longer partnership. Well, I think you should form a business together, regardless of what type of entity it is, whether it's an LLC or a, a limited partnership or whatever the CPA determines will be the best thing for you guys to do. And with real estate, a lot of times it is LLC first, but um, I, in, in my opinion, I think you should, because I've actually had this conversation um, with a couple of lenders and um, um, other investors that I've talked to as well about doing the same thing um, moving forward. And so I think it would be best if you determine what type of entity you guys want to form and then create your operating agreement and your agreement for the property management. Oh, good. Appreciate and that insight, like man. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Uh, no worries, no worries, brother. Uh, they, 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 they hook you up. I'm gonna if you got. A, I don't know if you got a coaching schedule, Darian. I, I, I saw your name now. Um, but um, yeah, that was the question gonna be the most important thing, guys, with anything in investing is, um, are you a short-term investor or a long-term investor? Are you a high risk or you a low risk? You gotta know where you at, and you gotta know what your plan is from that point. When you know where you at for that, then you'll know if you wanna do long-term rentals, long-term partnership long-term this. If you don't plan on doing anything long-term, do a little JV contract or do a little uh, a written contract to say, hey, this is my part, this is your portion and let it go. But again, I would not give tax things. I mean, the other part with that is if you do it as a partnership, you're going to have to deal with taxes. And when you deal with taxes, this person taxes could become your problem. So you just want to make sure that all that doing, that's why I want to say get with a CPA before I answer that part. But I will say that uh, with the contract, and Vincent, thank you for bringing that up. Yes, definitely put a contract in place of a JV, regardless of the matter. And definitely, Priscilla, I agree 100% with the property manager piece being a totally entity that you're paying for property manager, and that's it. And then move forward with it. Good. Appreciate that, man. Hey, man, look, I took your advice, bro. I got that podcast, so thank you for that. I, I um, Priscilla helped me out with a, a trailer for it, too. So appreciate that, that's bro. All, that's nice right there, man. I, I've been uh, I've been catching it, too, man. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to, to, to be able to bring something to the mastermind, man. You know, thank and grow rich for getting this room together. And we turn Absolutely. out some great ideas. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. All right, man. Take care. Be safe in Cali. Uh, anybody else have anything that they want to bring to the table? Any questions? All right, Coach, Coach while, while, while people still uh, decide, I got, got some more good news, man. I, I, I just love sharing. So, I mean, look, y'all on the call, you're going to have to do it. Oh, now it. you do. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I'm keeping my information to myself. I'm out. <laughs> Peace, deuces. I'm out this thing. That's how hey, he used I'm to be right there. Thing. That's him. That's I'm how he out. was. I'm That's out. how he was. <laughs> I'm out. You don't love me no more. That's all right, cool. Oh, oh, yeah. He's evolving, LT. <laughs> hey, look, look, look. I'm out. I'm out this thing, coach. It's, it's all you now. They share the good news, brother. Look at that. But, but, but hey, I had to go through because you you know, hey, look, I'm the king of my, well, I'm not going to say king of modifications, but I just freaking get a kick off of being able to get houses for free. To be able to get houses for free. Oh my gosh, I freaking love it. When I tell you I love it, I love it for two reasons. One, I win. Two, the client I'm working with wins. Three, hey, eventually whoever's living in these properties win. So guys, look, I just uh, closed out on this loan modification here. The seller uh, who owned this property, uh, he was like $28,000 behind on his mortgage. Abandoned the property, didn't want the house at all. Going through pre-foreclosure. I've stepped in, negotiated with the banks here. 
got them to take the cash that he was behind, roll it back into the loan. Look at that. Back into the loan, lowered his interest rate, his monthly note now. Well, uh, let me let me correct myself. My monthly note now is nine hundred and sixty six dollars. Coach, this property uh, here, once it's ready to go on the market, fourteen fifty a month. Fourteen fifty a month. Now I got this property all because this guy didn't want it. So I saw an opportunity. So did he, because I don't want this. I don't want this house, uh, Mr. Barnett. Whatever you can do to help me, man, I, I'll really be appreciative. So I went in, stepped in, modified this loan on his behalf. Now here's the thing about this, Coach. Whenever I modified this loan, here's the sexy part. He had to sign the new loan documents for me to for me to execute this. He had to sign the new loan documents. Let me say it one more time. He had to sign the new loan documents for me to execute this strategy. So again, guys, creative financing, fixing and flipping, wholesaling. I mean, it, we have so many tools in in in, in our uh, tool back uh, tool back. So many, so many tools. You guys see it right there. That was January 14, 2022, whenever they sent these documents out. Today, we got these uh, documents signed, notarized, and sent back. Just that quick. Seller didn't want their property anymore. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. We stepped in. We helped him. He helped us. And now we all get that what we want. So I'm telling you, whenever <laughs> we're doing some amazing things over here, amazing things. So if anybody thinks that that's like super awesome, I should be like at least getting one badass in, in the uh, chat box. But we got a question here. Somebody has their hand up. Derek, you got your hand up. What do you got, man? Oh. Derek, you got your hand up. Uh, sorry for that. Um, so I know that we're, I just want to start off by saying that I only have customer service uh, representative experience. So whenever we're making these calls, are we just getting general information uh, from the seller or, you know, will we go over most of those things in the coaching? Um, I just want to get a little bit more information about the calls. Oh, man, man. So so I tell you, it sounds like you 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 want to come in and, and just like make as much money as you can, as fast as you can and and and, and build out your real estate investing career through uh, wholesaling. Is that right? Correct. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Here, let, let me uh, let me see if I can bring up my screen to where I can show you um, the information that you'll be receiving. I'm missing something here. Uh, let's see here. But you know, to answer your question, uh, yes. So what happens is, you know, let me share the screen. And let's see here, screen two. All right, so whenever you 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 you'll get a property address here, uh, you'll get a mobile number, you'll get a phone number, uh, then you get a chance to you know check which box that you know that that the property falls in, uh, then you're gonna get some some suggested information. All right, this information is not 100% accurate. It's some suggested information, but that's where your coaching kicks in, your training kicks in to where you know what's best, right? And if you don't know what's best. You simply go over here and you you hit at well I can't tag myself but in this case here boom, boom right there so you tag you would tag me in the message and say hey uh, can you assist me with this this is what I'm seeing hey we'll step in and review it with you because the more you do these things on your own the more repetition that you get the more comfortable you are just like riding a bike like driving a car like shooting a free throw it's practice 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 right so. And here's the, 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 the whole goal and plan with this here. So whenever you guys start out in the wholesaling, uh, on a wholesaling platform, like we don't want you to stay here because as long as you're here, you're splitting commissions with us, which, hey, we'll gladly take them. We're happy. But the goal is, is to get you comfortable, to get you confident, and to get you out there doing it on your own to where you can rinse and repeat. You can duplicate this process, right? So spread your wings, go out. Now, if you choose to stay on our platform, as I shared, we would love to have you. Love, love to have you. But the ultimate goal is to get you guys out there to where you can do it on your own. And so the information you're going to want, really want to know is here is the property condition. 
That's the main thing you want to know. And we, we have simple questions, you know, Hey, when was the last time the property was updated? You know, is there anything wrong with the property? And then, you know, that's really it, you know, and, and sometimes you're going to get people that are going to tell you the truth. And sometimes you're not, you know, but uh, that's where, you know, everything is done in order. Everything is done in order. So, um, but you know, yeah. So all you're doing, you're calling, I don't want to say all you're doing, you're calling, you know, this individual, you're having a conversation and I'll tell you exactly how my script goes because I'm, it's, it's super simple. So I see Saxon call. Hey, Saxon, my name's Joe here. Uh, you know, hey, forgive me for calling you out of the blue, but you just spoke with my partner about selling your home. And I'm the buyer for the company and I want to reach out to see if, you know, if, if that's still the case. Short, sweet, and simple. You'll get, oh, yeah, you'll get, hell no, take me off the list. You know, you're going to get all sorts of stuff, you know, but those that are willing to have a conversation, you can get the information and see if it's going to be a good opportunity for you. So, so yeah, man, great, great question there, man. Uh, and, and here's the thing, uh, you know, being on this platform here, we're filling up on spaces that we can actually uh, allow on this uh, platform, right? So, uh, you know, we're running out of spaces. It's not going to be for uh, any and everyone. So if you guys are serious, you know, right now and want to take some action as Coach shared, hey, get on our calendar to where, you know, we can have those one-on-one -on -one conversations. We can get you guys uh, signed up, get you guys uh, going. We're super excited to work with you. Super, super excited to work with you. And here's the thing. I can't have too many people uh, on here uh, on that platform because it's like, hey, it, the more people that's on here, hey, it's more people that, you know, we have to hire uh, to, to like bring those leads in. So, uh, you know, it's just, we, we, we can help everyone, but we can't help everyone on this platform at the same time. So if you guys are ready to jump in and get going, uh, you know, uh, you know, get get on our calendar. Grant All right, Cardone Lauren, I see you got That's a good problem to have, brother. Grant Cardone What's said that? the biggest problem you have is you have too much to do. Too many people coming in. Let's get that problem. I already have it. <laughs> hey, I already have it. Hey, so, <laughs> so yeah, man, it's like. Yeah, you, you know, hey, so let's hire already, another. Hey, let's hire. Hey, what, what, what's the call? Hey, let's hire another um, thing then, another lead generation. Hmm. When, when the time permits. Okay. Well, when if you if you permits. share the if you share the share the share the, the thing, then you know I can take a half of that part, a portion of it, and work with no, that. No, 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 no. Like that. This is my baby over here. That you See know, that? going to the calendar, going to the calendar, getting on calendars and all that. That's your baby over there. You see why you coming over here on my side of the bed, man? I'm trying to grow, I'm trying, trying to get more people in. I, hey, I'm oh, trying to grow these man. things. I'm getting more people in. More people gonna come. Yeah. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. Hey, well, look, look, look. We want as many people to to join us as possible. We really, really do. You know, uh, I personally perform the best when my back is up against the wall. I've shown you that uh, time and time again. And uh, you know, for those others that you, you know may not know me in that world, but. Hey, when I tell you I, I perform the best when my back is up against the uh, wall. And because of that, that's how I, I share and teach my strategies to people. It's no, you start in, I don't care if you got a pocket full of money. Uh, you're going to go at this thing like you ain't got a dime to spend, right? But if you do, hey, look, we it's going to help. <laughs> you know, it's going to help. But, you know, I, I like to coach doing things with your credit, without your credit, doing things with your money without your money. So I like to teach, you know, both ways because I do all those ways every single day, every single day. You guys just saw that deal that said clear, uh, I'll have clear to close probably tomorrow. I don't have no money in that deal. No money in that deal. Me personally, zero. Oh, let me take that back coach. I did have to put a thousand dollars EMD down. So that's out of my pocket. But, you know, when it goes to closing, I get my thousand dollars back and, you know, now we're rocking and rolling. So, so cool, cool, coach. I am done, man. It's, uh, let's see here. How yep. Yep. So we, we got some, uh, some more questions. Hey, Lauren, if you can do us a favor, uh, you, you know, just book a session with us and, you know, we can have uh, more one-on-one -on -one time to, to where, you know, we can answer uh, some questions and we can see if we're, you know, a good fit for you and, you know, and vice versa, because, you know, we're, we're really serious and committed to assisting and in, in, in helping those. What you got, coach? Oh, no, I'm, I'm just cop, copying and pasting this thing again one more time. 
All right. They go to coaching things so they can get on the thing so they won't have to scroll up and down. Um, look, if we're done, um, whomever want to stay on, I'm going to stop the recording. I'm going to stop the recording. Uh, it's recording on Facebook. Oh, we didn't record this one. <laughs> not, not on Facebook. Well, you got it recording. It recorded on Facebook. It ain't recording on here. Okay. No. Oh, that. No, you sure? It's recording your end in. You record. Okay. Okay. I got you. Bro. All right. All right. So look, what we're going to do is, um, thank you. Appreciate it. So whomever want to stay on, we're done with official with this, but I got a homework assignment from my other coaching class that I just paid so much money for. And, um, whomever want to participate in this process, um, you can stay on and I give you a couple minutes to get off. So y'all can break out the end. I got a, I got a homework assignment. Mm -hmm. So if you need to go use the restroom real quick, go ahead, do what you gotta do. I don't wanna, I don't wanna bore nobody, man. I, I hope right. I do right. I hope I do well. All right, and, and for those that, that are like in our mastermind group, uh, I am going to share with you guys uh, those basic formulas to where, you know, based upon the uh, age and the uh, square footage of the home, to where you can come up with a rapid fire, uh, you know, budget, then come up with a rapid fire offer. You can get your offers first to the table. I will uh, share that with you guys here on Wednesday, as well as, you know, we're going to continue to, you know, dig a little deeper into uh, renovations and then ultimately see how we can continue to assist you guys with, you know, the, your personal strategies that, that you guys have going on. So, so this is one of the things I really like, Coach, is that everyone gets the exact same, like, education, but everyone's strategy is different, you know. Exact same education, everyone's strategy is different. So, so I'm super excited, man. Um, dude, I think, dude, we got two con two two contracts on today, and you know, working on several more. Um, uh, Latia has a she came across a 13 unit apartment uh, complex today, for I think one one twenty one thirty something like that one twenty one thirty. So yeah, yeah. So I'm going out to go visit that this weekend. And uh, older gentleman, tired landlord, don't want the property anymore. And so, yeah, yeah, I'm going to go out there for work. In Texas? Yep, no. yep, it's in Texas. But, but I mean, hey, it's, it's still, you know, three, probably four hours away from me. So the seller doesn't have a car. No, well, hey, I got to go back. I, I'm headed to Louisiana, so I have to drive through. Okay. So no matter what. So I'm going to swing through for, man, to, you know, show my support. And to you know, see if we can get that thing uh, under contract for. Hey man, I think we'll have to change the time, man, because these thing, this thing is full. Our our coaching schedule is full, man. They they have filled the days up. Hey, that's, <laughs> hey, it's your problem. No <laughs> problem. Hey, look, look, look. I, I I told you what my schedule looks like now. No, I, I, I changed. I changed this with your schedule. Okay. Three to but six. The Sunday, Sunday is my day because you taking off on Sunday. So Sunday I'm on there a couple of the, in the morning, right? In the morning, not the whole right, day. Right, 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 right. See, so yeah, so well, I mean, if that's the case, see, because I got my own personal calendar, so I got to figure out how to like because somebody can book on my own personal calendar and it's not that one. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we got we got to work through that. To I, get sure. that I told you already. Hey, we hey we gonna meet we gonna meet Thursday or whenever this week, whatever yes, day sir. you got. I'm gonna show you how this still work and get on your phone. Yep, yep, yeah, yeah, man. So okay, cool. So we we All booked right. up this week. Um, <laughs> yes, <laughs> man. So many people, which is a good problem here. Well. Well, brother, I'm glad you are. Uh, you feeling good this week, and you can uh, take over. Oh, I'm taking off for the rest of the week. <laughs> take it off now, for the rest coach, of the week. Coach, you know you can't take off as long as what you get <laughs> in this program. <laughs> <laughs> you, are right. You're right about that. No, you ain't letting me go nowhere. All right, so I got 23 boy. people still on, and we stopped the recording. All right, then. So let me do my homework assignment. Then. What you got? Absolutely, absolutely. Hey, T, I got the. Um, the uh that that info over to the uh rental uh uh folks so okay. uh I, yeah i think i copied you on that so see i did get that over to them and you know we'll, we'll see what they come back with okay yep yep so yeah yeah we're we gonna keep moving we're gonna keep moving hey tia called me the other day she was like hey man they this just happened oh my god i'm loving this hey you supposed to you, you supposed to yeah, it's, it's a good time, man.
It, it's it really a blessing is. to be a blessing, man. It's a blessing to be a blessing to be somebody that can uh, show somebody some some way. These tools you can use forever. This is not something you're gonna learn just right away to be great at, but by practicing it, you're gonna get better, and then it's gonna teach you to be just over and over again. And this it's sad that some people think that uh, <laughs> that a thousand dollars or fifteen hundred dollars a lot of money. That's that's what's sad to me. I mean, it's really really sad. Um, that, that's just sad. I mean, because at the end of the day, I know that I paid well over that amount of money just for my little. knowledge. So, just a little. <laughs> just well, a little. But it's all good. I mean, it, you know, you got to bet on you. You can't bet on nobody else. So, all right, yeah. man, let me see how many folks. I was hoping more people got up. I'm going to be embarrassed. Okay, 21 people. God, dang. What kind of I, homework you got? Man, I got I to gotta be vulnerable, man. God damn. All right. <laughs> so, you guys. be vulnerable. Yeah, yeah. So listen, all right. I, I I signed up for a new venture, right? I I've been working with some other stuff, and with this, uh, it's going to be a different kind of group, and it's going to be a learning and growing group. So, and, and I gave an assignment. My assignment is I got to tell y'all a story, and then when I tell y'all that story, I just need your feedback. All right. So um, when I was about five years old. Um, I had a speech impediment and everything. So, and I still got a speech impediment hell. But when I was five years old, I had that problem. And um, I was always the oddball. I'm still the oddball. But um, when I was five, I used to go to the restroom, come out the restroom and all my cousins laughing at me and, you know, talking about me. And I'm like, why y'all laughing and talking about me? And then when I look down, I see my shirt tucked in my drawers, right? So, Again, you know, embarrassed, right? Just embarrassed. Then, for some of y'all don't know this, um, I felt like I was unloved. I felt like something was wrong with me, or like I was defective, right? Because of that situation and other situations, the talking, the speech impediment, everything. So, when I was in kindergarten, my cousin got picked on. We was in the same class. My cousin got picked on. And I noticed it, and I went and bit the guy that was picking on him because I didn't want my cousin to go through what I went through, feeling like nobody protect him, like he's in love and like nobody cares. So I went and protect him because of that. So that's like um, my first moment to see that I can stand up to somebody for somebody else so that they won't be treated like me, right? And the next time, right, um, I was in second grade, I made nothing but C's. Like I didn't try, I didn't do anything. I just went to school, did the very minimum AC. So I repeated the second grade um, because of that. My mom basically held me back. It wasn't like I flunked. They said, hey, you need to grow up. You need to get mature, right? So I did that. I flunked. I stayed in second grade. All my peers passed me up. I failed again. Like I was unloved, unworthy. Um, like I'm not good for anything. So therefore, uh, third grade, Miss Snow. I never forget Miss Snow. Miss Snow treated me like everybody else. That was my third grade teacher, one of my first favorite teachers. And because of her, I started making B's and C's and I passed pretty good and everything. And she empowered me. I felt strong. I felt like, hey, now I can do it. And she did not look at me different. So later on, one more time, all right, I switched schools, different environment. I was Eminem transferred to um, a, a, a predominant white school for those who don't know Eminem. Eminem mean majority, minority to majority. So I went from one neighborhood to all across the town, right? Like 30, 40 minutes, waking up six o'clock in the morning, going to school, made three L's in a row, three L's in a row in one class. And I was scared to go home. I was trying to throw my paper away, my report card away. I tried to change the grade. I tried to do everything before I went to the house because I was so scared I was going to die. I thought I was going to die. My daddy came home. I stayed in the room. You know how you go in the room and you just hide from everybody? And you're like, I am not even here. I went in the room and laid in the bed and I just like put cover over me. I'm not even alive no more, right? My dad came in the room and he asked for my pull cord. And I'm like, my last breath, I'm gonna die. Man, he, he looked at my pull cord. He looked at me. He looked at my pull cord. He looked at me. He just shook his head and walked away. He didn't say nothing. Because of that, I went and made under roll every since because I never, ever, ever, ever wanted to feel rejected like that again. I never wanted to feel like somebody gave up on me again. I never wanted to feel dumb again. So now 
I'm pushing forward with everything. I'm trying to do everything, everything that I can do to help the next person be better so they can never have that feel. That's my story. So what y'all feedback? Man. Wow. I ain't, got, I ain't got no story like that to share, man. But, what? But I, Me either. Hey, <laughs> but, but, but I can say, man, like, hey, we, we continue to learn from each other each and every day, man. So, I hey, appreciate you for continuing to be an inspiration to your brother over here, if, if no other. That's for sure. I, I'm, I'm going to have to call mama tonight. <laughs> I already shared it with mama. I already shared it with mama. Hey, I want to share it with her. She's she like, baby, that's true? All that really happened to you? Mama, you can't remember? <laughs> you, you were there? <laughs> no, no, man. That's, that's awesome, man. I'm glad you overcame that. I definitely understand the patience uh, with Junior and all that stuff. You know, it all makes sense, man. <laughs> Somebody else give me some feedback. Thank you for that, brother. Somebody else give me some feedback. I th thank you. I see you. Um, I see. I see the uh, message. Thank you so much. Share my partner deal. I just can't believe it, LT man. Oh, you had a speech problem. You, you set, set the steam real low. Wow, I just can't believe it. And you to overcome to who you are to this day. Amazing, amazing. It's okay. I pray it. it it's motivated me to hear stories like that. So, you know, I, I appreciate the hearing it because it, it, it will keep me going forward. Okay. Yeah, and hey, 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 man, tell a little bit about how you met me. I mean, like the first moment you met me. <laughs> hey, the, hey, my my whole uh, first time I met you is in Dallas. We was at a real estate event. And, um, you know, I'm like, okay, we go learn something new, work with, we was at Lee Ornum event. So it was real nice. It was, we had a good time, you know, and, and uh, I said, LT, let, let's go to lunch. You know, we went to lunch, started, you know, talking. LT shared so much information. I like, why he's here? He, he knows so much. You know what I'm saying? And LT felt like, man, he, they didn't talk to everybody except me. i like, wow. You know what? So we, we changed numbers. And uh, ever since we changed numbers, we've been talking like left and right. Ever since we changed numbers. And LT gonna share what he know. The one thing, if he don't do nothing else, he gonna share what he know. And my resources. Yeah, what? From the banks to the contractors <laughs> to the information, he gonna share what he know. So appreciate you, LT. Hey, hey, now y'all got me, you and Joe. Y'all gonna make me step up another notch. <laughs> yeah, cool, man. Nah, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you, man, for sharing that and uh, giving somebody a little bit of background on me. Someone in the chat told me yeah, that. <laughs> Same time. Yep, that's right. That's right. I'm reading some of the chat messages. Okay, very interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's my homework assignment, guys. And I paid this man a whole lot more than a thousand dollars to coach me on um, getting my message across. So more to follow more to follow about this. Uh, this is actually another business venture of mine. Um, and it's starting off with me telling my story and showing people where I'm at. So that's why that's my homework assignment. I was on the phone with him for an hour. Um, he's coaching me through my process of um, getting clearer with the message. So when y'all hear more about it later, I hope that I can, can motivate, inspire and do the things y'all saying. And thank you for telling me I articulated it well. Um, when, you know, I do still have a speech impediment, <laughs> but, um, it don't, it don't stop me no more. I'm a, I'm a major in the military now, and I got soldiers that I, I lead all the time, coached, um, several winning basketball teams. Um, and the breakthrough is, um, Hey, right now, oh, that's why I forgot to tell y'all, uh, I, the breakthrough, my mom, I told her quit a job. I pay whatever money that job was paying. Um, I go on vacations now. And nobody, I don't have to worry about looking at the bank and how much money money I have to make no more. I, my son play whatever he want to play and do whatever he want to do with whatever do. I'm going to give him the best 18 years of his life. After 18 years, I'm done, right? Because of my success now, because of all the stuff I went through to make me be that person I am. And Joe, Joe just mentioned, right? My son, about my son. So he got autism, right? And I felt like, hey, for him to be with me. His mom is in Louisiana, and I paid several lawyers to fight for him. Didn't worry about a dime because the money's coming in. 
the money's coming in and and I did what I had to do because he's my namesake. So that's the breakthrough. I forgot to add that part to the story. I just stopped with all the bad stuff, but that's the good stuff. Um, because of my past, I am here to help you all. You are on this call. I thought I was taking the class for the help bring more people into this so that y'all can change your lifestyle, your legacy. But he said, nope, this is totally different. You can tell, you can, you can bring them in and teach them real estate. This is a different venture. So thank y'all for staying on. I appreciate it. I hope y'all booked a call with us. Uh, keep coming on every Monday, even Valentine's Day. We're going to be on here. It's free. Um, we were here to help um, and, and, and inspire. So thank you for your time. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your care, Sarah. And you know what? I didn't stop uh, Facebook Live. <laughs> So my story all over Facebook. <laughs> LT, let's, let's keep on sharing the love, LT. If you keep on sharing the love, it's going to grow. I, but look, I told him to stop recording this, brother. <laughs> it's all on Facebook Live. <laughs> oh, boy, I'll be jacking up everything. I can't get right. Still can't get right, but it's all right. You know what? I'm in peace. I'm in peace. I promise you I'm at peace because every morning when I listen to my, my Dr. Wayne, on um, Dreyer, Dreyer, whatever the name is, my gym, my gym run, uh, when I listen to Grant Cardone, when I listen to Ted McGrath, when I listen to all the different people, man, I mean, they just pour into me some extra stuff. And now I'm reading, hey guys, if y'all haven't read this book, if you're still on and you listening, I guess you don't mind listening to what I'm gonna tell you. This book right here is mind blowing. Um, it's an audio book too, so you don't have to go read it. You can actually listen to it. I listen to it when I walk the dogs. Um, the power, wait a minute, hold on, I'm almost there. Man, I got too many books. Oh, what a book yet, what a book yet. Where's my book? <laughs> when you look for stuff, you can't find it. Uh, oh, they go right there. All right, The Power of Now. Right, I can't even pronounce his name. Echor Toll E C. Let me type it in here. So if you're on this call, evidently you you do on my hearing this. Uh, the power. Uh, e C K H A R T T O L L E. All right, that book right now. That's what I'm on now. Uh oh, I'm sorry. I did a direct message. Somebody direct message me. Let me do this to everyone. Uh, change. Wow, I can't send everybody because they all hung up. Uh oh. Ba -ba 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 -ba. All right, everyone in the meeting. All right, I'm sorry. Yeah, here you go. So that book right there is powerful. It's powerful. Um, I'm reading that now and listening to that on audio book when I was walking the dog in the morning. Uh, when I wake up in the morning, I try and listen to inspirational stuff, positive stuff. Most folks get up and listen to the news. It's just not encouraging. I mean, to hear who's died and what politician did this and who did that and who the bad person is. So every morning I wake up and listen to like Wayne Dyer. They got another one. I'm on the share this with y'all. And um, I hope that this serves somebody. I hope this helps somebody. I hope this change somebody in life by me providing this information to you uh, because that's the goal. I mean, I really, I mean, Joe, I, I didn't BS y'all when I told y'all. Joe didn't want to share no information at first. Um, but you know, I, I talked to him, I worked with him and I asked him, Hey man, let's go, let's go and help others. Let's grow this thing. And let's, let's help as many people as possible. If they listen and they come, let's help them. They don't, then, hey, that's on them. At least we tried. All right. I ain't going to do this. I ain't going to get no more books. That's enough right there. Everyday wisdom, everyday wisdom. Oh Lord. I love it. I love it. Right. I love it. And the power of now, I mean, that's something right there is, is different. Um, if you got a weak mind, don't get in it because you're going to be judgmental and all that stuff. But um, this is no judgment zone. Just listen in, hear, take in, meditate, and understand that um, the power, the power you have inside of you is you hear two voices all the time, right? Um, and it's your matter, your mind is matter, right? It's thoughts. And sometimes we let our thoughts overcome us and we too busy being busy and we never just sit down and be a being. So that's what the power now is about, teaching you how to be a being and stop being a worker bee and stop being somebody running behind everything 
and just be in a moment and live in a moment, right? And love in a moment and share in a moment and be that person. So you know it's investing now. Like I was like, hey, take action now. Do what you need to do to change your tomorrows, right? Uh, don't focus on the past. The past is gone. Why would you focus on something you can't change? You can change your future. The windshield is bigger than the back, the back window, right? Why are you looking behind you? Why are you looking at the rear view mirror, the little small mirror, to look out the back window when you should be going forward, right? Go ahead, brother. What you got, Derek? So um, I was uh, interested in becoming a, a house appraisal. Um, and I'm trying to look into some courses that I can take uh, to get that process you know, moving. So mm -hmm. I want to know if, if you ever been in that position of coaching someone, because they say you have to have a supervisor uh, and you have to have some actual in the field training or being on the spot experience. So I wanted to know if you know of any you know, programs that I can take that won't cost me an arm and a leg uh, to get started with. So two things I would tell you, and I tell everybody that with me being a school teacher and a certified principal and all the you know I had to pass several tests, right? So I would tell you first, buy the book um, for whatever state that you're gonna try and get your appraisal license in. Uh, buy the state book because you can go to the back of that book and just study the answers, if the answer's in it, right? That's the first thing I would do. That will save you from retaking a test a hundred times. Don't worry about the content in the front. You study the questions and the answers. That's all, because you just got to pass a test. Um, I'm looking at my phone because I have I have a, a, a young man that's an older gentleman. I think he lives in Arkansas. He's an appraiser. And, um, and I'll send you his number and y'all can chit chat it up and uh, go from there. I know I got a couple of appraisers. I know I have some appraisers in my phone, period. But um, I think I got, yep, I got Dean and I got Yep, Henderson. Yep, Henderson and Dean. So, uh, Derek, if you want to send me your number, I will. Uh, you can directly send me your number, and I will send you that information. That helps you out. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. No problem. Let me see. D R E C K. Dean. And Henderson. All right. Who else? Anybody else got a question? I thought you were gonna talk about my little store. <laughs> nah. All right. Yeah, we done with real estate, y'all. Y'all on. I was just trying to um do my message so I can see you get some input. So I uh, thank y'all for staying. But this is this is me trying to work on a second career. <laughs> hey, I'm just staying around just to listen, man. I appreciate you sharing that with us. So what you thought about it, Jay? Man, it takes a lot for us to, you know, build up the courage to even talk about our past and stuff like that. So I really respect you. You know what I'm saying? I salute. Appreciate it, brother. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I pass. I, I, you know, I, I, I'll be honest, Jay. Uh, it's not nobody do anything to me. It always happened for me. Everything in my life has happened for me and not to me. Right. Um, me fighting for my son, me getting divorced, me um, going through all these down times, that didn't happen to me, that happened for me to grow, for me to get where I'm at today, for me to overcome so many obstacles so that I can be like, okay, then you know what? Life ain't been no crystal stair, you know? And most folks think that you don't wanna go through anything. Uh, if you notice, uh, I don't know if you notice, but eagle, I got an eagle on everything I use to hell because the eagle fly through the storm. It don't fly, it fly through the storm and use the wings, the wind from the storm to lift it above it, to lift it above it, right? I so like it's so important to go through it. So you'll see an eagle on almost everything. Oh, there go my son, yeah. So I believe in that. I've been loving eagles since I've been born because that eagle don't try and dodge it. It don't try and go around it. Another thing an eagle don't do, a nugget man and eagle don't do. A eagle don't remember anything. They don't worry about their past. Actually, it shed everything off and grow again, right? It mm. renew itself. So it's so important. How do I directly contact you? <laughs> you did that already. You did it. <laughs> uh, you did. All right. So um, that's another thing that an eagle do. Uh, eagle don't, uh, it's vision, make it see far in the future and not think about the past. So 
I mean, it's so much I can say about the eagle. I got a whole bunch of eagle symbols and I read and study it. And um, I try my best to learn more about everything, man. But like I said, um, I, I hope it served you, brother. And I hope it continues to serve you. Because I mean, like I said, that's the next the next level. I, I hate working for people. I hate being around. Hey, I'm the same way. I'm, gonna be <laughs> I'm, t- man, I'm trying to retire in five years. That's clear. I got two more years left for my plan, man. I got two more years left for my plan. I ain't gonna lie. It was been a five year plan too. And um, I, I'm really there. I can retire now. I, I, my, my, my income that I got from real estate can cover everything, but I wanna live a, a productive life where I can help more people and mm-hmm. start scholarships and help other folks um, that just, just don't have it to have. And then I wanna open up a real school where I can give people to go to to learn how to help other people. That's why this. That's why this started, man. This started as learn, earn, and return because you want people to return back to teach other people and better other people. Mm-hmm. Hey, that's I got a question thing. though. What's up? How long have you been doing this? Like the whole now, Zoom call and all that. Oh, we've been doing this Zoom call for three years now. What? Yeah, yeah. I think it's about three years now. Uh, we started off trying to do it on Facebook Live. We went from Facebook Live to YouTube. I was learning. I got. If you see my, I got one, two, three monitors right here, three monitors. I got two monitors right here. I got another laptop right there. I got another laptop, got a big screen TV for teleprompting because we're going to start recording it and coaching and selling our, our co- coaching class. Okay. Then I have all kinds of stuff I don't know how to use. I got webcams, uh, cam links. I got extra cameras. I got two freaking lights. I mean, I'm ready. I, I just bought a new pole to put my monitors up on because at first they were down. Got man, look, we ready, man. We we gonna grow this thing, and that's why I'm working about the business. I'm looking at long term. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Joe gonna give y'all money. Y'all gonna do stuff and get any money right now. Mm-hmm. Me, I'm gonna teach you how to make money forever. How to make that money make money. Make your money work for you like it's supposed to work. Okay, so let me ask you this thing: How much money do we need to start working with you after we work with Joe? Oh, man, I have to go through my own. I got to get my coach. He told me, do not talk money. He said, don't talk anything about that. He said, right now, you just tell folks your story and you let them know about it. And then they get it later on. Once you're ready, you'll get them in your funnel and then you'll deal with it like that. But um, okay. I, I'm, I'm listening to the coach. And one thing about me, I'm not a hypocrite. I would not tell anybody something I won't do. Right. So. Mm. I instantly paid for that class. I instantly paid last year, well, this summer. I promise you, I got so much stuff on my computer, it's ridiculous. But I paid for the kingdom. I paid for the kingdom this summer because we started our host setting class. And I said, look, if they come to ask me a question I can't answer, I need to go to somebody. And why mm-hmm. would I tell them to get coached by me if I won't get coached? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I paid for the kingdom, but I got Kobe Spiber. I got Lee Orner. Like he said, um, I, I went to Lee Orner with him, uh, with with uh, Vincent and met him. I've been to Than Mara. I've been um I got all of Dean Garzowski books. I read his books all day long. Robert Kiyosaki books, read them all day long. I, I got their physical books. I don't, I don't, I, I got the audio book, but I read them all day long. So the program I have is going to be a little different. And it's going to be, once y'all get through with making some money in real estate with Joe, that's what I want y'all to do, reinvest into yourself. So that's where it's going to be when you work with me. And I'm going to show you how your money can make more money. I just want everybody that get in to make their money back at me. I don't want you to drag your feet. I don't want you not to take action. And I don't even care about that money. That money right there, I ain't asked Joe for a dime yet. He's been doing all this stuff and be taking out money. I'm like, whatever. Because that's not my goal. My goal is to help people and the money gonna come. Mm -hmm. So it is what it is. I feel it. Yep. I got a um I scheduled a on Joe's calendar for tomorrow. So we gotta talk and everything. So we're gonna see what the next step is. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. It's fifteen hundred this week, this month right here. Next month is gonna go up probably like. Yeah, I'm already in. I'm already in. So. <laughs> oh, okay. 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 <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, God. Yeah. Everybody else is fifteen hundred, and then uh, next month it's gonna go up. I don't know. Joe really go ahead and jump all with the fire. I'm like, bro, no, no. Just be patient with me. Let's grow this thing. Let's grow some people because a lot of folks don't take action, man. I hate that for people that they don't take action. That's why you're going to hear me all day long fuss when I say something and somebody don't do it because I'm like, dude, I didn't ask you to go and jump off a bridge. I just said, click a link. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So I'm going to do it all day long, but it's all good. Everybody on the call, I'm I'm, I'm going to be that person to hold you accountable uh, for a little bitty things, but when you come to me, I'm going to give you so many perspectives about stuff, right? I'm not going to give you a one answer 
And that's the difference. I'm not going to tell you this the way you're going to do it. I'm going to be like, here's your options. Make an educated decision. That mm-hmm. way that you can grow from it and learn and go from it and not make the wrong decision. Now, if you tell me the decision, I'm like, well, maybe not that decision, not that decision. Yeah, but I'll make you go through that thought process. I'm a school teacher by trade. So that's normal. I want folks to learn through the process, not just do what I say do. Then you go out there and you be one dimensional. Mm-hmm. That's that, that does you no good. <laughs> so it's all good, Jay. You're going to work with me, man. You already signed up. So you got me for a year, man. And uh, I promise you, if you come to me with any questions or anything, I'm going to give you all the perspectives and I'm going to try my best to lead you in the right direction. If I don't know the answer, I'm not going to BS you. I'm going to go find it. So I got like five different mastermind groups that I'm in. So I, I find an answer for you and get it back to you as soon as possible. So that's just me. I'm, I'm that type of person without money, with money, uh, that somebody paid me or not. Uh, but I told Joe, we got to find a way to leverage our knowledge. We got too much knowledge and we need to get paid for our knowledge. So that's why we started this platform. Yeah, I hear you. I appreciate everything, big dog. i get off the... Okay, brother. Well, we'll be on the call Wednesday, man. I'll see you Wednesday. I know Joe. Oh, I know Joe. Yes, yeah, I'm a long way. Yes, I want to hit him. <laughs> All right, you're going to hit the ground running, Derek. Uh, thanks for sharing. I signed up for two or three. Okay. Hey, guys, I'm going to try to get on. I work full time, so I may can't get on during the daytime, but I will get on the calls if I can. Um, Jay, just a FYI, I did get on the call for a little while on Sunday. Joe made a, a quick call and everything. And I jumped on, man. So for a little while, then I had to go and take care of the baby and stuff. I got a newborn and, um, I got to get the family time. So you can't work all day and not have any time for your family. So that's the whole important thing. That's why we do this, um, to have that freedom. But right now, two more years grinding, done, done. And my five-year plan, done. So um, I'm gonna work now, but I'm not gonna work for, any, I'm gonna work for me only and I'm gonna do my own schedule. So that's the goal. So thank y'all for y'all time. And y'all stayed on all this time and I still been on Facebook Live so everybody hear my story. So look, love y'all, y'all take care, y'all be safe and um, hopefully we can serve y'all. So you Wednesday. All right, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, y'all. Make sure I wrote his phone number down. Boop, boop, boop. All right, appreciate it, LT. Appreciate you, man. Take care, man. All right, yes, sir. I'm happy I double check. I can't even write. Shoot, I done wrote the wrong number. All right, got you, man. I'm finna send you that information right now. Before I, before I forget. All right, I'm hanging up.